Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Cripe Man. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to um, put physics, we're going to apply physics to our uh, the stuff in our scene. Now, uh, each, one of the, each one of the objects I have here has a property. Um, this sphere is made of rubber, the blue sphere is made of metal, and the yellow sphere is made of um, ice. There are no physics applied to everything, to anything just yet. But let me show you something in the scene here. Um, let's go to the physics tab, and uh, you can kind of tweak some of the stuff, the simulation accuracy, the geometric uh, fidelity, da da da. Um, I've never really messed with this stuff. Uh, the gravity uh, is another story. Now the default gravity is minus 385 in this scene, which is a medium scene. Um, so, uh, you know, everything's going to interact that way. And you notice we go over here, the motion method, the method of animation that we're going to use is physics. Now you notice that there is a, uh, um, I have a, the initial velocity is 30 feet a second in the y axis, in the y direction. And uh, each of these are, are 10 feet. Um, these are lined out at 10 feet. Uh, this guy right here, I got it set at 30, and there's, and it interacts with the scene differently because it's made of a different property. And right here, uh, the keyframe animation, or the keyframe, me or the animation method, sorry, is keyframe, and uh, we're going to change that up right now. Um, let's go ahead and uh, put it in physics, and you notice that a dialog bo box pops up. Um, you can go ahead and read that. Uh, you probably can't read it on YouTube, so we'll go ahead and just push OK. And let's make the uh, veloc initial velocity on this one 20 feet. And apply physics. And it calculates physics, and like I said, it normally does it in real time. It's not going to do that here, but we're going to we're going to do a little work around. We're going to uh, we're going to do a little work around. But you notice when you move your scrubber, everything does what it's supposed to do. Uh, that's because the physics have been applied to it. And look, there's no keyframes happening on your timeline. But if you change this back. Uh, change it back to keyframe. You can only have one one method of animation in your uh, per object. So um, if you go past one, then uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna stay as either keyframe or physics. You got to pick one. So let's go ahead and change that back. And method is keyframe. And now you notice that everything is keyframed as it would have been if it if we had done it by hand let's go ahead and render this out oh actually it has been rendered out and this is uh... this is what we got here you notice that it interacts everything interacts the way it would in the real world with the properties that they have now I put a little bit of a spin on the blue ball too to kind of keep it from going off the edge, but nah, <laughs> it was destined to fall off the edge anyway. Let's go ahead and look at some of the different some of the different properties in there. And you notice that the rubber has a different density than the metal. That's why we got a little bit more of a bounce. The density in this one is like 7.8. And uh, bounce is 95, just like the rubber. Rubber is 95, but the densities are different, so you're going to get different things happening to them. And uh, what you can do once you have physics applied, then you got your directional force, point force, uh, dampening, torque, flow, da da da, da all all those things uh, that you can apply to it when you have your physics going. But uh, Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much uh, a primer <laughs> on physics. 
uh, play with it a little bit, get get to know it a little bit more, and uh, Carrera can do a lot of cool things, physics being one of them. So uh, anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Cripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.